A couple of decades ago, the phrase solar panel would probably have conjured one distinct image in everyone's mind, and that is a bright blue rectangle on a rooftop. I certainly used to think of it that way. Well, people nowadays who still think that way are basically wrong. Technological advancements from boffins in lab coats and aesthetic requirements from fancy people have led to an explosion of different solar panels. When there was just one variety of solar panel, we now have tons of different varieties. Specifically six. With more to come. <laughs> That's right, we've got six different types of solar panels to talk through today, but with all the weird and wonderful advancements happening in the background, it won't be long before there are more to talk about. I'm Charlie. I'm Josh. Let's dive in. Right, let's start with the basics and talk about the humble polycrystalline solar panel. Josh, tell us more. The polycrystalline solar panel is a brilliant place to start. It was the first solar panel to achieve widespread popularity and be put on residential rooftops all over the world. It's made by melting multiple silicon crystals together. Multiple, hence poly. Yes, exactly. Very good. It has a bluish colour, which used to make it the best looking of all the solar panels. However, as we'll learn later on in this video, it got outstripped by quite a few solar panels. And whilst we've got your attention, please give the like button a hit. So Josh, what are the main advantages of polycrystalline solar panels? To be honest, Charlie, there aren't many. They're one of the cheaper types of solar panel, which means that if you want to get a system on your roof, you'll spend less money on polycrystalline. And they're more eco-friendly than monocrystalline solar panels. However, they are also a lot less efficient. Efficient, interesting. And what does efficiency mean in the context of solar? So, efficiency in the context of solar means the amount of sunlight that a solar panel can convert into electricity. So the higher the percentage, the better. Got you. And how does a polycrystalline solar panel perform in terms of efficiency? Not particularly well. It uh, is about 13 to 16% efficient, which compares unfavorably with some other solar panels. And it has about a 25 to 30 year lifespan. And I assume that isn't very long. Correct. Some types of solar panel can last a lot longer. Okay, so at least you don't have to have your roof covered in ugly blue solar panels forever. So true. Right. The second type of solar panel, monocrystalline, polycrystalline, similar sounding brother. Josh, tell us about these. Monocrystalline solar panels are currently the main character in the story of the UK's big switch to solar. They are black coloured solar panels, which you'll see on roofs all over the country now. They are made from one single block of silicon. Single block of silicon, hence mono. Exactly. They're also treated with anti-reflective coating, which makes them look even darker. Okay, so I can see why these might have solved the solar panels are ugly problem that people used to have. Yes, absolutely. They look very nice and quite futuristic as well. Okay, lovely. And what else is good about them? Well, the most important thing about any solar panel is its efficiency and monocrystalline solar panels top the charts in this way. They are 18 to 24% efficient, typically, and they also last longer than any other type of panels. Some experts even think they can last up to 40 years. That is very long. It is. Are there any negatives? The only notable downside about monocrystalline solar panels is they're quite expensive, but you get what you pay for. And I think Sunsafe might have a solution for the high upfront cost of solar. Maybe. <laughs> yes, we've launched Sunsafe Plus, the UK's first solar subscription. You can get a solar and battery system that is best in class at no upfront cost. Instead, you'll pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years, and that price does stay fixed across those 20 years, which will protect you against energy price rises. And every Sunsafe Plus system is also protected by the Sunsafe guarantee, which includes free replacement parts, including a battery and inverter, 24-7 monitoring and maintenance, insurance provided by Aviva, and downtime cover. Charlie, tell us about the third type of solar panel. Panel type number three is the thin film solar panel, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's an extremely thin solar panel that can bend around surfaces. It's very different to the rigid, traditional crystalline solar panel. It's made by stacking several thin layers of certain material on top of each other. This material can be amorphous silicon, cadmium telluride, or copper indium gallium selenide. That is quite the mouthful. Tell me about all the benefits. Well, their feathery weight and bendy form makes them perfect for things like caravans, other mobile homes and houseboats. They're also a fair bit cheaper than monocrystalline solar panels. Sounds good. What about the negatives? Well, the overall massive negative is that if you're looking to get solar panels to cut down your energy bills, thin film solar panels aren't really the right choice. 
Um, they're not very efficient, normally about 7 to 13 percent. They also don't last that long, maybe 10 or 20 years, which is about half the length of time that a monocrystalline solar panel lasts. So, unless I need to get some solar panels for my houseboat or caravan, I should probably avoid these? Uh, exactly, yes. We're on to number four. What's next? Yeah, we're over halfway. The next solar panel is the transparent solar panel. Now, before I carry on, don't get too excited. It sounds a bit like they are big sheets of clear glass that you can use as a window. That isn't quite how it works. At the moment, the only commercially available transparent solar panels are not 100% see-through. What a shame. I was so excited. I know, I'm sorry. Currently, the only commercially available transparent solar panels are about 30 to 40% transparent. That's a bit like looking through a pair of sunglasses. So, what are the main advantages? Well, the main advantage is obviously appearance. Uh, traditional black monocrystalline solar panels aren't see-through. So even though 40% transparency isn't perfect, it's better than not being able to see through anything. It means that architects who want to design funky buildings that can generate clean electricity can do so. They're also useful for things like canopies above gardens and car parks, bike shelters, things like that. Great. Are they popping up in the UK already? They certainly are. Have you been to Gloucestershire's County Council Hall? Uh, yeah, I haven't missed it. <laughs> well, as you know then, this building has lots of orangey-red coloured transparent solar panels along its exterior walls, which looks very cool. You'll also find transparent solar panels at the Barbican Theatre in London, some Bournemouth University buildings, some bike sheds in Cambridge, and lots of fancy private gardens. So there's lots of places for you to visit. I can't wait. I'm going to break into some gardens. So, are there any disadvantages? Transparent solar panels are not very efficient, is their main disadvantage. About 1-10%. to So if you're looking for a system that's going to cut your energy bills, don't get transparent solar panels. Same problem with thin film solar panels. That makes sense. Are we ever going to see fully transparent solar panels? How cool would that be? Well, the main problem is that solar panels are designed to capture visible light. If you just have a fully transparent piece of glass, visible light is going to go straight through it and it's not going to convert it into electricity. Luckily, some very smart people at Michigan State University in America have designed a piece of glass material made from organic salts which is capable of converting the non-visible part of the light spectrum into solar electricity. That's so cool. I want that. Can I have that? The main reason you can't have it is it's currently only 1% efficient, so it's basically worthless. Hmm. Panel number five. Josh, what is it? It's solar tiles. Intriguing. Tell us more. Solar tiles are basically small solar panels that go on your roof as a replacement for roof tiles. They're made for people who don't like the way that solar panels look on their roof for whatever reason. Okay, so despite how good black monocrystalline solar panels look today, there are still people out there who don't like them. Yes, absolutely. And the boffins and lab coats will keep innovating until everyone likes solar. They're not gonna stop. They're not gonna stop. Right, so what's special about solar tiles? Well, they're pretty convincing. Each solar tile is basically a roof tile with photovoltaic cells inside it. And they come in a huge variety of styles and colours, everything from smooth glass and grey slate to more rustic styles like Tuscan. Very nice. So clearly the big benefit here is aesthetics. Are there any downsides? Currently quite a few. If you want solar tiles, you basically have to replace your entire roof. That is extremely time consuming and obviously that makes it a lot more expensive as well. It's usually about two to four times as much as a traditional solar panel installation. Blimey, and what about efficiency? Its efficiency isn't great, it's about 10 to 20% efficient. Okay, so if I wanted to seriously cut down my energy bills and make big savings, are, are solar tiles the answer? Yes, but you need to cover your whole roof with them, which is quite expensive and that is a big barrier at the moment. Panel number six, Josh, what is it? This one is very cool, it's the perovskite solar panel. It certainly sounds cool. Can you start by telling us what perovskite means? Absolutely. Perovskite refers to two different things. The first is the natural mineral that was first discovered in Russia's Ural Mountains. The second refers to the man-made material that copies the crystal structure of that mineral. That's ridiculous. They couldn't think of a different name for the second one. No, apparently not. Okay, so that means that perovskite solar panels don't actually use any natural perovskite from the mountains. Exactly. Okay, so we've cleared that up. Can you tell us how perovskite solar panels are made, how they're different from crystalline solar panels? With perovskite solar panels, you put a layer of perovskite on top of a layer of silicon. The effect that this has is that the perovskite absorbs light from the blue end of the light spectrum, and the silicon absorbs light from the red end of the spectrum. Wow, what a combination. It is a perfect combination. Can you tell us about the efficiency of perovskite solar panels? So it's currently a very impressive 27% efficient, which is great. Okay, so clearly perovskite panels are really good. They almost sound too good to be true. Are there any disadvantages? 
Yes, so translating this lab-based success into industrial-scale manufacturing has been quite the challenge. Uh, perovskite silicon solar cells are quite unstable and also have a much shorter life expectancy than traditional silicon panels. Okay, why are they so unstable? They're more sensitive to things like moisture, heat and oxygen. You know, things that solar panels have to deal with every day. Oh dear. This can seriously degrade their performance in a matter of months. If people in the lab manage to sort these issues out, it's possible that they'll come to market, but that won't be for several years, and when they do, they'll be horrendously expensive. So that was a quick tour of the six main types of solar panels. If you want a proper solar panel system to cut down your electricity bills, we recommend monocrystalline panels. They're the panels that all the best installers are using right now, and they are the most efficient. And if you don't fancy paying the high upfront cost of solar, you should consider SunSave Plus, which is the UK's first solar subscription. It means you can switch to solar at no upfront costs, and instead you'll pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years, and you'll get yourself a best-in-class solar and battery system. And you will also be protected by the SunSave guarantee. To learn more about SunSave Plus, or solar in general, please visit our website, sunsafe.energy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content about solar energy and SunSafe Plus. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below. Goodbye. <laughs>